everyone. Uh, welcome to the IPFS Dynamic Data and Capabilities Working Group um, meeting. Um, thanks for joining. I'm going to share my screen. Just okay. So um, so for if you haven't already put your name on the attendee list, please do so. Um, is there anyone volunteering to take notes today? No? If not, that's okay because I can... I can oh. do it. Oh, thank you, Nathan. All right. Um, Okay, uh, also, if you could add your, if you have any item on the agenda or demo, uh, please add it to the agenda. And also your, your update. Um, so let's start with a round of intros and updates. Um, I can go, I'm, I'm First on the list. Uh, so me, um, where am I? Oh, I'm here. Cool. So uh, last two weeks, I did a first pass on PureStar app, uh, which is the implementation of the topology and protocol that is described on the scale or peer pad. Um, effort, I think it's here. Uh, so if you haven't read it, I, if you are, you are interested, you can take a look at what protocol I'm, we are proposing here. Uh, so this is a first pass implementation of that on PureStar app. Uh, it's a very simple API where you can uh, uh, create an application with an app name and start a collaboration and you can then collaborate. Uh, documents are not fully fleshed out yet. Uh, I'm working on that. Um, it's one of the items uh, I'm going to attack next. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll have a demo uh, on that as an example application, um, which is in progress, but I, I'm going to show it anyway. Um, blocked. I'm blocked on uh, the new config options of JS IPFS, which allows uh, you to introduce um, to introduce uh, uh, dynamic configuration on JS IPFS, uh, which is going to be used for us to uh, be able to uh, inject the discovery protocol that wraps the the current transport. And so I'm 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 waiting on on that. I have a local implementation, very um, hacky implementation of that uh, right now on top of JSIPFS, but the overall solution will be to, the final solution for this will be to create that on only peer-to-peer -peer, and there's a pull request for that, which is described here. Um, next week, next few, two few weeks, I'm going to work on documenting the API. I'm going to implement uh, a maximum delta retention policy. Um, and I'm going also to introduce authentication. Right now, there's no mutual authentication other than the peer ID uh, because of the IPFS SecIO um, uh, stream underneath. And I'm also going to do encryption at rest um, for the CRDT uh, state and deltas. And that's it for me. Uh, Nathan, you want to go ahead? Just stop sure. Um, so uh, Lance and I have been working on uh, getting uh, every all the pieces in place for for PeerPad core rewrite that we're starting this week. Um, it's going to use Peer CRTD. Um, so. Uh, We've got uh, text area stuff working. Um, we've got identity uh, and permission stuff working. Um, 
So now it's it's a matter of putting all those pieces together. So we're going to to start on that this week. And uh, we've been working with the with the uh, design team to make sure that all the features that we want for the demo um, at the conference at the end of July is all ready, and we've got the features that we want. So, yep, that's where we're at. About to dive deep into that now that we have all the pieces. Cool. Thank you, Nathan. Um, all right. Uh, next, next is uh, Machi. Machi, want to go ahead? Uh, yes, currently I'm working on uh, interface data exchange and rewriting WebRTC star to no longer use the central socket IO server, but rather use an abstract interface to handle that. So it can use many ways of exchange. I, uh, this will help probably with getting peer pad because this will enable WebRTC star without the hassle of the WebRTC star signaling server. And uh, I'm currently blocked on some issues uh, I've linked. They are mainly related to um, some features missing in the P2P and some minor bugs. Uh, the next thing I'm going to work on is the load testing. Thanks, Machi. Can you give, uh, um, for people that don't know uh, what the load testing pertains to? I think uh, what I'm supposed to be building is basically a bunch of tests that uh, uh, run multiple pads and then do a bunch of operations and see how quickly that can be done and if there are any crashes or other problems that occur, if too many operations get done or large number of operations get, gets done. So yeah, exactly. Um... Okay, thank you, Machi. Um, okay, so we have, uh, I think it's someone new, Joel. I don't, I'm, he's not in. Yeah, I can, hi, I can introduce myself if you like. Yes, uh, please, thank you. Hi, I'm Joel. Um, I uh, was very recently hired two weeks ago. Uh, I'm at the Media Lab and I'm working on a project um, with a few other researchers here on building a decentralized graph database to store all human knowledge, the biggest and best yet. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I didn't really have any agenda items I wanted to bring up. I just wanted to say, hi, I might be around. I'm like, we're building on top of IPFS and IPLD. So, uh, I might reach out with some questions if I ever have any, and I'm really interested in your work. That's all. Awesome. That's, that's great news. Um, I didn't know of that. Uh, so, uh, I'm just, I'm curious, uh, yeah. you have, um, you have any any collaborative uh, requirements for um, for people to be editing the same um, um, data sets at the same time? Yeah, it's something we're we're seriously thinking about. We're not really sure at this point, and we're just trying to get familiar with you know what's out there and what's what what you guys are working on. Uh, so potentially, but nothing concrete. Super interesting. Uh, hit me on either research yeah. or, or IPFS uh, dynamic data and capabilities working group or any other of, of the other repos that you have around if you're curious about, about something. Yeah, yeah, I've browsed around, but uh, I thought I dropped in today for the first time. So, hello. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank you for yeah. that. Cool. So, uh, let me share the screen again. All right. So, Joel. Thank you for your update. Uh, what's next? Uh, demos. All right. Uh, hey, I just realized that um, my demo wasn't uh, recorded. And so I'm going to demo it again because uh, Zoom quit on me and stopped recording. So. I'm going to demo it again. Sorry about that. Um, all right. So let's start. Uh, so the demo I have for you today is about uh, Peer Star app, uh, which is an implementation of the Scale Peer Pad 
effort, um, protocol and topology that is being discussed uh, here on this peer pad issue, issue 180. And um, so I've been working on this implementation, peer star app. It has a very simple API. So it's um, peer star uh, require, you create an app which has a name, you start that app, uh, and then you create some uh, a set of any set of collaborations. Um, and you can also have a bunch of events on, on pure activity and pure count estimates. So the docs are very in flux. I'm uh, going to work on them a bit later, later on. Uh, right now, I have this demo of a very simple application built on top of Pure Star App, which is also embedded on the, if you want, on, on the repo. So it's on examples, counter, it was initially just a counter, but it's now currently more than that. So it's uh, as a bunch of, um, as a bunch of scripts here. Uh, so the application is a very simple one, React application, and it's going to uh, satiate, restart app, start it. And then, uh, and then it's going to, so this is garbage, sorry about that. Uh, and then it's going to satiate a bunch of collaborations, which are their own components. For instance, a counter collaboration creates, uh, creates a collaboration object. Uh, which is created here, and the state is being propagated here. Uh, so the peers, uh, the value of the, the collaboration, and a bunch of statistics like inbound connection count, outbound connection count. And so the specific, the type specific things are, are here. So the array is going, you're going to be able to push elements and remove elements. Uh, the counter you're going to is a grow only counter, so you'll be able to increment it. And uh, there's a text collaboration where you can, it's a bit more complex, uh, but it uh, uh, reacts to changes on text and then propagates those changes into the uh, underlying CRDT. And now for a demo, I'm going to start to run this Google server. And and uh, so start to run the server. I have a React app here on port 3000. I'm going to start that. Localhost port 3000. Okay, so here's the grow only counter, here's your array, here's the text. So grow only counter, you can increment it. You can see there is no connections. So there is a, a peer estimate of one peers right now, so it's myself. Uh, array is a bunch of items. I can add push elements there. I can remove elements of an, in any in any index. And I, here on the text, I can uh, I can put more text. And yeah, so let's see. When another peer comes in. Mind you that this is very in flux, so errors will happen. Um, most probably. So yeah, so I have two peers. Uh, currently I am uh, Connecting, there's inbound connection count outbound, so it's all it's being updated. Let me see if the state is in sync. So I have nine here, and incremented here, and incremented here, and I can see that it then probably oh yeah gets synced. Uh, array can remove element from the array, and that element will eventually be removed from here. And then the text, uh, I can add more text. More, whoops. There's sync of oh, um, text at the end. Let's see if the text propagates here. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, more text. Um, so it's all in sync. Uh, that's it for my demo. Okay. So I'm going to start this identity server. I've got a Postgres server running that it uses. I'm going to start the demo. Um, let's see. So here's um, here we are on on the page. It's generating a key for, a key pair and stopping there, um, and we can ask it to attest the key pair so it redirects to the identity server um, and it's got the did here and it's self-signed um, and so we can ask the identity server to attest it <clears throat> so it Attestation requested. Oh, I'm test user on that server. So it grabs that identity. Um, it got the attestation back from the server. And then it's verified that the server did uh, um, correctly signed the attestation. Um, and so I can show you how that works real quick. Um, let's see. So if the attestation has been sent and it's not received, so the way is it can just redirect back to the web app after it's attested. And every time the, the, uh, the web app loads, the React app here loads, it checks to see if the attestation, is, if there's an attestation for the did on the identity server. And if so, then it grabs it and verifies the attestation. So uh, the redirect works very simply. Um, and I will have a demo of this later today that I will record and put in the channel that shows it doing this for peers over peer CRTD as well. And I've got that almost finished. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, generates the did the distributed identity document. Um, it requests attestation, the server attests it based on the user ID that you're logged into over there. It does request the password again, just to verify the user when it does that. Um, it signs and generates proof, which can be then later retrieved and then verified that the server did sign that proof. So pretty simple, but a lot of moving pieces. Um, but that's it for me. Cool, thank you, Nathan. Um, interesting. Uh, so we can, you see what we have next. Uh, let me exit full screen. All right, let me share the screen again. Okay. So, all right. Let me see if there's anything else on the agenda. Oh, we have questions only. Time I have questions. some questions for you, Pedro. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, so so your, your uh, peer app, um, is that something that you think we could use this week to set up the basics for uh, the new peer pad core? Or is it too uh, early? Yet? Uh, well, it doesn't have authentication, but it surely will. Uh, anyway, it will be handled internally. Um, the thing is identity. We have to figure out how to wire identity with it because you have identity really, um, really far ahead. Um, and I haven't embedded, really embedded identity into this. Um, but it's, it's us usable as the one, the, the, the item I, I, that I have blocked is unblocked sorry not this one um on my right. end this one uh the config thing 
Consciousness mm -hmm. is uh, it's just the, the this one that, that I'm currently blocked on and just documenting the thing. Um, so I'm hoping to have today or tomorrow some news about, about, about this or if there is any workaround that I should, uh, mm -hmm. that I can uh, use instead of, of this new config stuff on the peer-to-peer. Um, yeah, and yes, I plan to, before Thursday, um, to have this usable um, in, in that sense. Because um, I can bring in this peer identity stuff, and mm -hmm. we bring in Lance, Lance tech, Lance's text area stuff, and I think we could uh, could stand it up based on your app. Yes, it's, it's uh, yeah. I, uh, all the all the code is up there, uh, except except your independency is JS IPFS, a local version I have of, of JS IPFS, which I can then publish and then and then. Um, and then put put the, the GitHub uh, URL instead of just using a package version. Uh, I can do that very temporary uh, thing, but but I can do that definitely, um, and I can do that today. So okay, uh, yeah, just just let me know. Yes, I, I think I think that would be great to have first first hands on 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 this. Um, it, I'm not sure how it ties up with with Lance's work on 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 text area but i think we can sync on that because you can look at for instance you can look at the uh the app example app and text area app that i that i did very simple uh, thing sure. and then uh, hit me up with with any question that that he may he may have uh, he's probably much more involved on that than than i am this is a very crude uh, example sure. um but yeah let's 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 do that um okay. We'll talk in channel then. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, any more questions for any of us? For from any of us, or for and for any of us? <laughs> no. No. Okay. So, thank you for coming, um, and I hope to see you in um, two weeks, if not before, on the interwebs. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone.